And you know who else was asked a lot about his size? Philip Lindsay. He wasn't invited to the NFL scouting combine last year, and as we know, he made the Broncos look really smart after no team drafted him. Now, he's one of thousands of hopeful, hopefuls that weren't invited, and for Bernard McDonald, that's just fine. Oh. The path to the NFL draft is not easy for anybody, even harder if you're not well known. But Bernard McDonald is hoping for a little name recognition. And there's always a chip on your shoulder being a Division II boy. I mean, they're going to they're gonna overlook you. You know, they're going to think that maybe you're not as good as everybody else. And being out here is the time to show them. And that's what he's been doing every day. Every rep, every step, jump, leap, and cut, trying to prove he's just as good as the big boys. Going to the next level, I mean, obviously they want to see tape, but they want to see how you work on the field. And this is a good chance to show your, show your skills. Competing with the D1 guys, that's, that's the best part about it. The former CSU Pueblo running back was a force in the RMAC for three seasons, finishing his career with almost 3,000 rushing yards and 30 touchdowns. Plenty of tape to show any scout, but that's not enough anymore. I mean, being a CSU Pueblo Thunderwolf, I mean, you got to know those guys who play down there and uh, being able to be a part of the, you know, the, the history and that legacy. He knows he's a long shot, but Bernard's going to let the chip on his shoulder lead the way. Right now, we're all in the same, same spot, same boat. And like I said, we're just trying to get to the end goal, and that's playing in the NFL. Hey, good luck to him. Now, 